one of the other things that we're trying to uh, foster here at the college is, is support teachers to foster that tension between course coverage and good understanding. It requires a cultural shift and I suppose at the heart of the project that's what really is um, uh, we're trying to, to implement or to nurture. That, that cultural shift about the way that we work within the school, the way that we have professional discussions about the work. Um, we've been very interested for a couple of years now in trying to strengthen um, personalised learning within the school and also developing stronger thinking skills within our students. So we wanted to make sure that through our teaching that we were able to um, um, adapt our teaching so that it catered for all the students rather than just doing um, one type of lesson teaching or one type of style of teaching we wanted to hopefully engage them with different activities. We, um, we came to the point really where teachers had to implement something, had to have a go at, at, um, at an idea or a strategy that they had come up with. Having the opportunity to share ideas and talk as a team even just how might we start a unit differently. Um, we all did, for instance, after this we did um, algebra and we started our algebra unit quite differently, I think, than we would have started in the past, which would have been to launch into all the vocabulary of term and um, constant term and variable and things. We actually started with some more activity-based learning, um, plotting you know, values from a pattern, number pattern, and looking at what we got and why we got straight lines or not. Um, and then we, all the language actually came out of that, so then we could elaborate onto the language and what it meant. A very different way again to how I've ever started that unit, and I think it was a better way and they enjoyed it more. Um, to the point we're now moving into a science lab and pouring water into vessels to draw graphs this afternoon. It's very different to how I used to do things. Um, and I think actually it's been a good thing because I'm doing it a bit more now in all my classes. And partly um, we gave up the textbook this year that made us, forced us to be more creative. After our professional reading and discussion, teachers when they came together for our meetings would say, well this is what happened. And it gave the teachers an opportunity to say, well this is what I'd do next time. Um, or the confidence to be able to, to continue to try something different. One of the outcomes really has been um, fostering uh, people's um, confidence to have a go at something and, uh, and to try and see what the outcome is and the, the benefits that can be derived from it. It has inspired me after 19 years of teaching to, to get out of my comfort zone and do a few different activities. Um, it's probably inspired me to search for a few more PDs actually this year as well that I've done recently on thinking and um, open-ended tasks. Um, trying to get the whole, you know, girls can step in at every, every level, no matter how good at maths, can start and it can extend students right through. By leading the project it gave me the opportunity to more authentically, I suppose, reflect with the rest of the staff what we had done, what the outcomes were and what the possibilities were for the rest of the school.